Hey what's up guys, welcome to another video with me, your boy FIFA Wonder HD, my first for FIFA 15 and in this video guys we'll be having a look at the best, the cheapest Premier League strikers that are available that will get your teams up and running and scoring goals. So first up we have Danny Welbeck, looking absolutely fantastic, while his card is only rated 78, he has some really nice base card stats there, the ones that jump out. 85 pace, 76 shooting, 80 dribbling and 75 physicality. We go a little bit deeper with his stats, you'll see that he has 86 acceleration, 81 heading, 75 strength which I think is a really good sort of uh, level of strength for a player who is quick and can finish because normally you know that is the trade off but like I said he does have really good strength which is good. He also has 76 finishing, so when he does get in the box with his really good pace and a bit of strength, he is going to be able to finish with ease. Very, very cheap at the moment, going for around 2k. I'd expect it maybe to fall to around 1.5, around that sort of mark. But even for 2k, even for 3 or 4, I think he's well worth the money. A very good, cheap alternative to Daniel Sturridge, who is very, very expensive. Uh, moving on. We have Wilfred Bonny up next, a very strong player with great shooting. His pace isn't fantastic, but that this year I don't think is quite as important as maybe previous FIFAs. You know, this year is all about that sort of raw power, and this guy has that in an abundance. He really does. Currently going for around 2.5k. Um, hopefully he will fall a little bit, but even like I said at 2.5k, he's a very cheap, very effective striker. He has 80 finishing, 84 heading, 94 strength, so he is an absolute ox, he really is, and 89 shot power, which is just crazy. He also, he also has 80 long shots, so his finishing inside and outside the box is just insane. So while people will be put off by his pace, you don't always even need to be, you know, like use his pace because he can just shoot from anywhere. Uh, crosses he's going to do very well with, you know, he's going to muscle his opponents out of the way and he's going to get his head on it. You know, anything that's dropping around the box, he is just going to be there. He's a very, very good player, one I really do recommend using. Next up we have Giroud. Again, not the most fancied player in-game because of his pace, you know, at 62, but genuinely from the games that I've played with him, I haven't noticed it too much at all being a problem. If you partner in with one of the quick players in this video or if you've got a bit more money and you go out and buy a Sturridge or a Remy, I think he's going to work very, very well. He does have some very good stats if you look in game. He has 84 heading, 87 strength, so you know anything, any balls into the box, he is going to do very well indeed. 76 finishing isn't fantastic, you know it's on par with Welbeck. But he does have 84 shot power and 84 positioning. And what I noticed with him was he always seemed to peel off the defenders quite nicely, get into good positions. He scored me so many headers so far already. So a very, very good player. Very strong, good in the box, and an all-round pretty decent striker that's going for around 1k. Which I think for that sort of level of player, if you are like, you know, you do like to get a lot of balls in the box and maybe you partner him up with a quicker player. I think you'll find Giroud very, very good indeed. Next up we have Duf. You know, what can I say? Just look at those stats initially for how much he's costing. 2.8k around at the moment. I think that will fall to around sort of 2 to 2.5. 86 pace is just insane on his base card stats. He also has 77 shooting and 75 physicality. His dribbling isn't the best, which is a bit of a shame. And his passing isn't great, but realistically for a striker, you don't need too much passing. And dribbling, who cares when you're just going to chip the ball into him and play lovely little through balls into this guy all day. That is all you want from him. So don't be put off by his dribbling and passing because it's not really that needed. He has some really great in-game stats like some of the other players we've featured in this video. 84 finishing, which I think is fantastic. Uh, he also has 81 acceleration, 90 sprint speed. When he gets going, he is very, very fast. 78 strength. Again, you know, I think like with all of these sort of players in this video that I've featured, they've got a really good balance of pace and strength, which I think is very, very important in this year's FIFA. And then he also has 87 heading. So 
for me, this guy is the pick out of all of them. I think Welbeck and, and Diouf are looking very, very strong for the amount of money that they're costing. 84 finishing on anyone is just a fantastic stat. And then when you mix it in with his pace and his physicality and his heading, you really do have it all with this guy. You know, he's a fox in the box and he's also a, a speed demon. And one that I'm sure will be used an awful lot in some very, very sweaty squads. Lastly, we have Samuel Eto'o, who's had quite a downgrade in this year's FIFA. But he still maintains some of the really good stats that have, mean, that have meant that he's always been used in FIFA Ultimate Team. Currently going for around sort of 2.7k, so quite similar to Diouf in that respect. I think again he will fall quite a bit to be honest to around sort of 1.5 to 2 uh, when the game officially comes out. He has 81 ball control, 83 dribbling, so he's you know he's good with the ball at his feet. 82 finishing, which is a little bit off Diouf, but you know still very good for for a cheap ultimate team striker 76 heading isn't fantastic but he's definitely going to be able to score you some headers 72 strength again it's not bad at all he's really going to hold off some defenders and what i really like about him is his positioning and his shot power at 84 and 82 respectively just means that he can really hit the back of the net and he's always in the right sort of place so there you have it guys, that was my top 5 strikers, cheap strikers for ultimate team in the Barclays Premier League. Some really good picks in there, definitely recommend going out and trying these guys because they are going to get your team going for very little money and get you up the divisions very very quickly. I hope you enjoyed this video, please hit like, subscribe and peace.